Hello there, good morning everybody, how are you today? Uh, I'm going to be quite a quick one today, I think I just have some new bits and bobs to show you, including some new fabrics, which have been really busy already, and we've got some things that would be perfect for gift wear, if you know somebody who sews that you want to buy them something for, and we've got some new fabrics, and then purely selfishly, um, I need a little pouch, just a little thing that flips over to keep my earpiece in when I go to Create and Craft because at the moment all the wire's just in the bottom of my handbag so I'm going to get that organised so I'm going to make that as well so morning Susan, Leslie, Sheila, Diane, Mandy, Angela and Linda and Mel hello, hello Helen and Jane and Tracy, morning, hi Cherry um, watching from work this morning is M. morning Sarah, all good here, thank you um, morning Susan, oh Irene, hello oh Irene, your tulips have come out um, Kim was saying this morning they don't actually look like tulips they look like peonies they've got these big round um, heads I'll, I'll have to take a, po a photo and put it on Facebook um, hi Kaz Sue Janet hello Christine Deborah Lynn and Melissa and Raina and Laverne and Tina hello and Pat and Anne <laughs> right so let me show you the new things that we've got um, Kim has secured some very good prices because we've been doing a bit of research this morning on Amazon and finding things like magnetic needle cases for 11 or 12 pounds and we've got these in at five pounds 99 so they're really handy i think they look really stylish and this bit is the magnet so your pins and your needles kept nicely organized in there um so perfect not just for storage in your um and your home but if you're going to workshops and things like that and we've got two colors you can either go for the pink or you can go for the teal but that is a that that is a fantastic price. Do a little bit of research and have a look around, and you find them for almost double what we've got them for you for you here. Um, hi, Daryl, June. Hello, Diane, Sarah. Sunny in Devon. It's lovely here. It's actually sitting outside weather, and uh, I've got the whole family coming over today. So um, that would be very nice because there's more room outside than there is in. Hi, Alan. I'm good, thank you. Hello, Linda, Michelle. Penny and Bridget and Dominica and Deborah, hello. So again, well worth stocking up on those, even if you're thinking Secret Santas. I know it's a long way off, but we like to be organised, don't we? Then we also have some more handmade tags. So these are faux leather and the little heart shape, as you see there. And it just says handmade in the center so a perfect finishing touch if you are going to um, be making bags particularly i think and these are 10 for three pounds but we've got different shapes on those as well hi lorraine hi leah and let's open this one i can show you because i've not seen oval ones before we've had the rectangle ones i think we've had the hearts but i've not seen the oval ones there you go look so it's just a handmade signs on there but it just gives that nice kind of professional finish doesn't it to whatever it is you're making so those are £2.75 for 10 of those it's good prices aren't they now then I think you'll like these well I hope you like everything <coughs> excuse me if you are an embroiderer then these are perfect for you because they're little magnets. So one side goes on the back of your work. Oops, on you go, got that the right way around. And then that goes on that side. And then you can hold your needle with it. So it's like a magnetic needle holder. Isn't that such a good idea? And then of course you can move it around your work as well as you're sewing. But instead of storing your needle by sticking it into your fabric, you can just hop it onto the needle like that. Uh, that one is five pounds. Again, we've seen these on um, on Amazon for an awful lot more, maybe even twelve pounds for some of these. We've got different styles as well. So this one is the monstera leaf. I want to say uh, that's five pounds fifty. So it works in the same way. So that goes on one side, that goes on the other needle held safely there and then this one is a pack of two so these are the little wooden ones that they've got daisies on them and I don't know what those are wildflowers of some sort and same deal again so that on that side that on that side 
needle on the top. Such a clever idea, isn't it? But you do get the both of those for your £8.99. So that's all the magnets that we have for you. Uh, tripped on the kitchen step and fell. Oh dear. Oh, I hope you're feeling better soon, Linda. That's not very nice at all. Giving yourself a good old bashing there. Uh, Trin says, sunny and talky. Oh, lovely. She's at work, having a sneaky peek. Uh, sun's out in Cambridge. It's just, it's just lovely here. It's like, it's like summer. It's really nice. Um, yes, Mari, ideal for English paper preaching. Pre em, English, English paper preaching. English paper piecing projects too. <laughs> Hi, Karen. We're fine and dandy. Thank you very much. What else have we got? Oh, I didn't bring those down, did I? We've also got the hidden magnetic closures. I think they're on there now. Uh, yes, the invisible snaps. You know the ones that I used in the the curved size bucket bag? Um, we've got those on the website too. They're a pack of two for one ninety nine, And those are the ones where um, you sew them in. So all you see on the lining of your bag is the stitching. Excuse me. <coughs> um, and the magnets hidden inside so it we've been it's taken ages to get those but we do have them in stock right now just forgot to bring them down um hello ellen not sunny in st helen said susan hopefully it'll reach you we'll we'll, we'll send it down to you i don't want it going away from here but we'll, we'll send an extension of the sunshine down to you um they are unfinished cross stitch I started in hospital after twins were born. They turned 31. That has to be the longest UFO I think I've ever seen. Hello, Leslie. Dulling Kirkham. Um, right, what else have we got? Fabrics. Now we've got a back in stock, first of all, which is the pansies. So this sold out almost immediately. Um, we brought it, so you can tell how new these are. They've still got the manufacturer's labels on. Um, so sold out straight away we do have this one back in stock again now I love the colours on this and pansies are happy faces aren't they and you've got the black background on there as well so that all the colours really pop out on this I'd love to know what you made with this one because I said we, we sold out almost immediately we, we brought it to you so yeah it'd be really interesting to see what what you've made with those but when you're thinking about springtime you can't think about anything but flowers can you look at these ones so this is the, the flower market fabrics. That one's Daisy. Oh, I love that one. See, that would make a lovely skirt, wouldn't it? I'm saying that would make a lovely skirt. I, I think I've got a skirt made out of something very similar to this myself. You know how you just get that? that oh, I remember that. Must have that somewhere. And then we have Gerberas. So again, really nice quality fabrics, those. So these two are brand new and this one is a back in stock. So if, if, uh, if you're on the waiting list, you should have got your email this morning. Um, right, but we, we do have more there. My uh, granddaughter, my little granddaughter's here at the moment. The other two are arriving in about half an hour, I think. Um, but she's saying how much she loved the fabrics that we've got coming up next. She's been very good folding and things for me this morning. It's nice to keep them busy, isn't it? Um, it is, Erica. The, the pansy fabric is just gorgeous, isn't it? I know. Um, so I'm just taking that off before it gets sent out to somebody with a label on. Because you don't need that. Uh, there we go. Got a staple in the selvage now. Bear with me. Got to get that out. Um, the daisies, yeah, I, I, I love all of them. I just think they're so happy, spring-like, bright, fresh, uplifting, which we could do with, couldn't we? Because it's been miserable and wet and windy and cold for so long. It has here anyway. Gina loves the gerberas. Right, so that's those. And then these are the brand new ones again. All brand new. All brand new. And this one is... Oh, these are poppy cottons. I love poppy cottons. They're, they're really different poppy cottons. Are. Um, this one is Tweeting Blue. Those are £7.80 for half a metre. These just go so well together, though. Uh, this one is Hearts and Berries. 
Hearts and berries blue. Mm, I'd, I'd say it was a little bit more green than blue, but we go by what, whatever the manufacturers called them. And this one is the one that Vienna loves so much, and that is sunshine blue. But it's like butterflies. Um, it's got little bugs on here as well. And, and the birds and the happy sunshine. I think it's quite nostalgic as well. I think it's the expression on the sun's face. I think that's it's quite a quite a nostalgic kind of look there. What do you think? Oh, one final thing to show you, which isn't a new today, it's a back in stock. I know we've got a big long waiting list for this, so hopefully you've got your emails as well, which is the craft fleece. And I'm partly responsible of it being sold out because I use so much of it myself. Um, it is a Valiseline product, if you haven't seen it before. It's slightly thinner than the H630, but it's stiffer. Um, so for bag making, it is absolutely perfect, but it's nice for boxes as well. Now, it's a metre piece, so that's how your TV has just gone all white. Um, so it's quite a big piece that's going to last you a long time. And now we should have had it back in. So I think I said to you on Wednesday, I was promised it on Tuesday. I've been chasing and chasing and stamping my feet and I was promised it for Tuesday and it didn't arrive because they delivered it in the shed at the bottom of the garden and not put a note anywhere. And you know it's one of those places where we don't go very often. Didn't know it was in there. Didn't know it was there. Um, oh dear, dearly, I hope it's going to be okay. Uh, hi Christine. Um, how are poppy cotton to sew? Never used it. It's just a really nice quality. It's, it's very easy to sew, so it's a, it's a really lovely quality fabric. We do quite a few poppy cottons actually. They're just yeah, but they're really nice ones. Morning, Christine. Now tomorrow, Create and Craft at nine o'clock. I've only got the one show, and some of the products are live on their website at the moment. But the um, the panel that makes these um, is what well, should be going down in price by two pounds for tomorrow. So it's done at twenty three pounds at the moment, but I agreed for twenty one pounds. Uh, for the panel, I haven't got the panel to show you, but you can make uh, it's got four squares on it, and you can make four cushion covers. Or with the bag, I used two pieces and made both sides of that. And you get the instructions for the cushion cover, and then there are brief instructions on how to make the bag as well because I had a space at the bottom of the page. Um, so that should come down in price. And also, we have the Wonderland kitchen panel, which makes the tea cozy and the oven mitts and those are on at 29.99 but we're going to take 21 percent off because it's their 21st birthday so that should go down to about 23.99 i think that's right um in the show tomorrow so don't order those now because the price goes down a bit tomorrow but everything that we have for you in the show is postage free as well so i think it's going to be really busy so this is how this one works lot um i've actually quilted around not all of the shapes, just around the outside, like the star in the centre. I just went around the outside of the star, and which looks very complicated because that isn't. If if you were patchworking this genuinely, um, what would you have? Half square triangle, half so, quarter quarter square triangles. But because these have been printed, it just looks like an impossible shape to to patchwork together. But it's not. But I love the colours on those, they're nice and fresh and spring like. Instructions are just for an envelope back cushion cover. Um, I use the mint um, eighth of an inch gingham, I think that's eighth of an inch on the back because that goes really well with it. But you could use a pale blue or even orange would look really good. But that's going to be tomorrow at nine o'clock in the morning. I've only got the one hour. Um, I think we're going to sell out, but we do have more on order already, but it might be two weeks before we can get it back again. But the first few hundred should be there at nine o'clock in the... Well, they're there now, but you'll pay two pounds more than if you do tomorrow. Um, in some pieces, my mother and great-grandmother did the corners. Oh, that's nice, Karen, to have an embroidery that's passed down the generations like that. Hmm. Oh, hi, Brian, how are you? We've got some bag kits as well. I did show you the other day. I haven't got them with me here because they're all packed up and in my boot and ready to go to the studios tomorrow. Um, but we've got a bowling bag, the curved size tote in different styles as well. And we have a kiss clasp bag, which we can't get any more of when they're gone. Um, and they're predominantly tapestries and 
um, canvases in the kit so they're really nice quality fabric as well um, will I be stocking the log ruler with cutting slots um, I don't know what the log ruler with cutting slots is Tracy so at the moment no I don't know what it is um, let, don't, let me know what brand is it what does it look like send me a picture and I'll pass it on to Kim we'll have a look right I just need to make this little pouch then so again I'm not going to be too long so I'm going to have a house full of people in in a bit and I've still got some work to do before everybody gets here so I, I'm starting from scratch and it's just going to be a little pouch with a popper over the front just I mean the, the kind of thing that you could um the one Tracy used last week I forgot to pick up my instruction card and my cutting mat last week did you leave your cutting mat behind as well don't remember seeing a cutting mat let me know what it was like the stripology was it the one that um, Susie was using yes we will um, I'm not not sure when we're going to be able to get it in because um, I can't get it from the supplier straight away but yes we will get that in stock because I think that's going to I mean um, Susie was <coughs> excuse me was raving about it so yeah definitely be having those she's given me um, a list actually of things that she suggested that we get on the website so just need to get around to doing it but yes we will do that um, right I don't, I don't know which one to use of these um, what's this one called this is the Beth Salt Paisley Peacocks five fat quarter piece is what I'm using and I've got some blue no, navy blue bias binding and I just want a little pouch to put my earpiece in so that could be uh, I think that was going to be too big um, that could be let's do those two actually I like those two together or should we do peacocks maybe do that one maybe that one let's do that one and that one or that one and that one so the thing with fat quarters isn't it they all go together so well that one and that one I think that print's going to be that's that print's too big we'll do this one I'll just switch my iron on um yeah the packs of fat quarters they all just go together so if you're only choosing two which two which two to choose um yeah so it's just going to be a little fold over flap pop it to close it about that big I reckon should be enough just to stop me a piece from rattling around in the bottom of my handbag uh, let's take my little ironing mat and we'll give it a press there we go get some of those creases out I'm just going to use a little bit of best press as well I don't need all of it but I may as well iron it because I should use it again for something else anyway morning Claire how's that pooch of yours Domino we've got Bert coming over today so I've had to put the chickens away because they'll chase them that's my son's dog Bobbin will be over the moon Bert will hate it <laughs> he's too old to be racing around the garden with a puppy <laughs> right just iron those out and then we'll cut it so ever such a simple one um I did an online workshop making the cutting mat. I haven't got any plans to do online workshops at the moment, I'm afraid. I My schedule is full up till about next March. So it's just the, the, the time of doing something like that. Um, but if, is it this one? Because that's a half yard member project. So there is a video on how to make, or there will be a video on how to make that on the half yard club if you want to join those. That will be out on May the 1st. Oh, that was hot. It is a wee little iron. <laughs> it's a little prim one. But it's a proper iron with steam coming out of it and it does the trick. Perfect for having next year a cutting table. Right. So I just need, <coughs> excuse me, to cut the shapes. I am kind of making it up as I go. Are we non-directional? Yes, we are. So I can make the most of my fabric 
by doing it that way around. So let's do the two of those together. And I'll just take my cutting mat out of that. Cutting mat carry folder thing. Morning Anne, grey and Preston she says. So let's take off the salvages first of all, that's my ruler on the floor. And to make that nice and square down the edge. Oh, not, not quite long enough for my, that's it, for my strips. And then I think I'm going to need it about six inches wide. How should we do a narrow? No, I think we can do five inches wide. So I'm cutting through both pieces of fabric, remember. I'm not going to use this whole strip, but let's just cut it all. Anyway, so five inches there, five inches there. There we go. So what I thought I'd do is do that and then have a little flap over the top and that is going to be plenty big enough for what I need it for so this could be um, for your notions or my little scissors gone um, earbuds change there's no pockets on the inside or anything like that still cutting through two pieces of fabric together I'll have to do that the other way around because that's got a corner missing so let me just straighten the edge of this one and then we'll do that again so if that folds over there flap comes over to about here gonna cut it there I've just dropped my binding on the floor, so bear with me. There we go. And I am going to use some of my craft fleece because I love it. There we go. And I'm just going to do this on the outer, which I'm going to use my peacock feathers for. Trying to make the most of the scrap of fleece that I've got left here. So because this is fusible, scratchy side up, and it does like steam this one. The craft fleece, no Anna, it's, it's a fusible one, so the scratchy side is the glue side. But it's nice on bigger bags as well. It's easy to sew through. You won't need to cut it, uh, cut it back to the seams. Um, let's just cut this out. Then I can iron it up to the edge. Like so. And then I can iron at the end again. Oh, Daryl, you've got you've got forever to do those blocks. She's three months behind, but um, they're going to be there forever. So don't worry about that. You you do it when you can fit it in. It's not a race. Oh, nice, Yvonne. I shall tell her. Yvonne's using some of Kim's strawberry fabric to make a peg bag with. That's going to be a nice idea. All right. Let's give this some shape. Do I have my corner creator? I'm asking you and you don't know. There we go. So some kind of template to round the corners. Um, so I'm going to have that and that. So I want to make the corners of that round. So I think we'll go for the, the two inch. That'll make a nice round flap. Non-directional fabric would work best for something like this um, because um, when you fold that up and then fold that over, if it's directional, one of these is going to be upside down. 
So it's craft fleece, Anne-Marie. Uh, sorry, who said that? The interfacing. Oh, that's gone. This is the craft fleece that we just got back in stock on the website. And then let's trim this back here. And then we'll use this as a template to cut the lining to the same shape. On you go. So that needs to come down a little bit more. There we go. So lining and outer both cut to the same shape. And then, so I've got that and that and that. I think I might just curve this a little bit as well. Just a little bit. Um, that way. So that's a four. If you've got a four inch circle template, that's what I've used there. So I'm cutting now through the outer and the lining together. So because I'm using a popper or a cam snap, I'm going to put that on at the end. And again, so that's going to be there and that's going to be there. So ever so simple. Now if I had my best press down here with me, I would now stick those two pieces together. But of course I don't have it with me. So let's pop a pin or two in there just to hold that in place. Now these are going to come out in a minute when I sew the rest of it together. And I'm just going to put a piece of binding just around there. What I should, let me just see if I've got some navy thread. Because white is really going to stand out and I don't really want it to stand out. I've got some in the bobbin. Got every colour but, every colour but. So I'll do black. Black's going to stand out a little bit less than white would do. Just in case I get any wobbles in the stitches that I don't want them to stand out. So let's take this out. Um, yes, Sarah, that I think we've only got about four left. It's the corner creator. Um, we will be getting more stock in, but the company that we use that manufacture them are moving premises at the moment, so all of their machines are in storage. Um, so we will get more, but it's going to be a couple of weeks before we can get more back in stock again. But they are very useful. Oh wow, Helen's made about 20 blinds for people using the tu a tutorial on YouTube. Oh, well done. <laughs> Well done you. I hope you charge them sufficient. Um, Anna, if you go to my blog, the details of the discount code are on the blog. Right. So I'm just going to iron this in half. Because I'm not hand stitching this one. It's only a little pouch. So I'm going to wrap this around the edge of the fabric and hope for the best and while I'm there because this is going to go there and this is going to go all the way around it so I'll just trim that down a little bit while we'll I iron this one as well no more right the check bag behind me is actually the tie side tote the pattern is a download on the website mm -hmm. Um, and I changed it up a little bit by using different uh, colours of fabric and binding and webbing for a handle instead of fabric so it's slightly different to the instructions but if you have a look on last Sunday's um, Facebook Live I was live on Create and Craft and on my Facebook page at 3 o'clock and I made it from scratch then well apart from cutting it out um, and I'll explain what the difference is to the pattern as well but the actual measurements are on the pattern so have a look have a look at the downloads uh we've got oh yeah that's hot um we've got that bag what's left of them on crate and craft tomorrow as well I've got loads on crate and craft tomorrow gonna be busy 
Um, right, so let's do this bit first of all. So I'm just going to slip the binding over the edge of the curve and sew it. So not too close to the edge because I do want to make sure that I'm sewing through both sides of the binding at the same time. So this this is why I don't do I don't use this method if I'm quilting. And um, I, I prefer to hand sew it because I think it's so much neater. But just for a little something like this that nobody's ever going to see, it's just to keep me organised in the bottom of my handbag, then I'm not too worried if it's not perfect. But it's not too bad, not too bad at all, that. Right, let's pop that off and that off. And then go back, take my pins out now. And then fold that up to where I want it to be. Just make sure that's going to fasten okay. And then we'll hold these with a few pins. And I need another pin. Where's one of the pins gone? There you are. I'll have another one just to hold those together. So normally I would um, use my basting spray. My lining seems to have grown a little bit, so I'm just going to trim it back to the same size as the outer. That'll do. Now this binding goes all the way around the edge. So I'm going to fold over the end of the binding just to make that neat because otherwise I've got a raw edge on the end and I don't want that. And then wrap this around. I'm only using, in fact, no, let's pop it on. and then fold the end over and then wrap it around. Yeah, I'm using um, three quarters of an inch binding, so it's just about thick enough to go around here. If, you, if you're using a thicker fabric or, um, oh yeah, only just look, or thicker fleece, then you're gonna need a wider, a wider binding for that one just to incorporate it all right so let's go under here a couple of stitches to get started and then i'm just going to make sure that all of that edge is tucked inside the binding concentrating to see if i'm quiet again and I'll double check that in just a second, just to make sure I've caught it all. So coming up to the curve, so we can keep it tucked in nice and tightly against the edge. Yes, it's fine. And the end of there. magnetic snap would have been good in here wouldn't it I should have brought those down with me um oh I've just oh there you go I just lost YouTube from my vision for just a second it is a quick one this one Deirdre and it, it can be any size you like it's a great way of using up your scrap fabric even if you join your scraps together like the patchwork bag that we made on Wednesday around the corner but if you've got particularly fat quarter I mean you could probably make five of these from two fat quarters um, but if you've got these pre-cut fabric packs and you're not sure what to make with them then these are nice small projects as you said just don't take up very much fabric quick to make but actually very useful all right this is actually quite thick so again I'm just making sure that it is wrapping all the way around the fabric 
I'll take the pins out now. And I want to make the end neat again. So I'm going to chop that off about half an inch from the edge and fold one side under. I'm going to, I'm going to cut it. Got a bit sticking off there as well. That needs to come off. Come off. All right, so let's fold that around the edge and then fold it over. And then get that to the edge. There, and I think for me, I've missed a bit there. Look, I'm just going to go back over from this side. Um, this is ideal, an ideal size for, for what I'm going to use it for. Which I said, it's only to hold something small. Oh, Four Seasons says, uh, great for gifts and raffle pride. That's a nice idea. Doesn't take very long to make either. So if you're charging for your time and you feel a bit guilty, um, really doesn't take very long to make. Right, last thing we need to do is just put the popper on there. So I've got to, I've got a packet packet of poppers. Oh, let's choose a colour. Hello, Mary. Um, so I think that colour. So I'm going to need two of those and one inny and one outy. Come on. Where's an outie? There's an outie. Um, right. So we need to find the centre. So I'm not going to see a crease on this because it's two patterns. So let's mark the two and a half inch mark. Why should we do that? Let's see where it's going to fasten. Oh, quite quite close to the edge, I think. So, two and a half inches. Let's do it here. And we'll push the, the spike through there. These are actually really strong spikes, so, you know, they'll go through quite a few layers of fabric quite easily. And then pop one of the other halves on the back of here and take your tool which of course I've left all the way over here and pop that in there and squish and then I'm going to line up the position here Oh, that's right on the top of there, so that's easy to see. And then the second piece needs to come up from behind, so I need to get the spike in from the back. Let's come. And then the other half on there. Cup that over there and give it a squish. And then that is my little folder finish. So that's going to keep me organised. So what are you going to use yours for? <laughs> nice purses for um, dinner money maybe. You could put um, a little loop, a wristlet or something on the side of it if this is going to be something that you keep your car keys in uh, or house keys, whatever. Um, you could put the loop on the inside so that your keys are kept nice and safe inside there as well. If you wanted to add an extra pocket on the inside then you can do. Maybe we do that as a more extensive project at some time. Maybe make it a little bit bigger and put, put a pocket on and put the loops on and put a, a swivel snap so you can clip things onto it as well. Uh, or Morag says, um, make a similar size, don't curve it, and it makes a good size for sanitary pads for your handbag. That's a good idea. Made out of scraps, just donated some to my local community centre as they give out sanitary items. What a lovely idea that is. 
Um, hello, uh, Pi Dad. I don't know what that means, but hello. Uh, Sue's in Australia. What's your weather like over there, Sue? We're just, we're just oh, the sun's gone in. But we're, we're just kind of coming into spring. Um, so the flowers are out. I'm looking at blossom on my cherry tree and it's everything's budding and it's just really nice over here. Um, thanks, Sarah. Oh, I will. I will enjoy the sunshine. Velcro would be a good idea as well, LCS. Uh, Kate says never charge, just enjoy the sewing. Right, yep, so that was that, so I hope you like that. Iron's off, Laura, just iron's off now. Right, oh Sue, you've arrived just as I'm going, but welcome along anyway, have a look back. Only only a very quick and simple little mate, that one. Um, Samantha's in Adelaide, hello to you. Uh, okay, so if you're around and tomorrow morning at nine o'clock, remember, I will be on Create and Craft with some brand new items for you. They will be on the website um, at some point. Um, it depends if we sell out because it, at the moment it's taken a couple of weeks for us to be able to reprint more things. With the bags, some of them we can get more. The Kiss Clasp, we can't. That's because of the hardware. Um, it takes so long to arrive. Um, but yeah, if you wanted to wait and order on the website, things may be a couple of weeks. So postage free from Create and Craft tomorrow is probably going to be the best place to order anything. So have a look um, Have a look on their website. So you can order some of the things now, but with the, um, the cushion panels and the Wonderland kitchen panel, the price should be going down in the show tomorrow by a couple of pounds. Um, oh, Trish says it's raining again. Have a sewing session instead. Gardening, sewing, gardening, sewing. Sewing in the garden is a good option. But given a choice, probably sewing. Probably sewing. Hmm. Okay, thank you, Julianne. I certainly will. And uh, if I shan't see you tomorrow, I shall see you again here next Wednesday at 4 o'clock. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you for joining me today.